Okay, this is the second video for Cervica Genetics where I promised we'd go through some exercises for home. If you're one of those people who have a headache from the cervical spine, referred pain, that sort of thing, these are the ones that we give clients after they had treatment. So I'm gonna run through four things that you can try to work on to try and A, reduce your headache a little bit and improve your range of your neck, start that process of getting rid of it fully, and then into some proper neck stability strength exercises down the track to really help with your overall posture and strength. So what happens, remember, with headaches, spicogen headaches, a lot of them are that tension type headache coming from people who sit in a posture like that. So if you're one of those people who either, maybe you're not at a computer, maybe you just tend to slouch in the sofa or something like that, or maybe you're driving, but majority of the people, they are at a desk type setup where they lose their lumbar spine and they drop into flexion, which then puts their head forward like that. And they tend to go, not horrendously bad like that, but in a, not in a neutral spine, they go into this sort of position here and stay there. Now that position, you've got to get out of for a start. We talked about that in that headache video where you've got to come up into a more upright sitting posture for one, but you also need the strength there and you need the range to be able to do it. If you're very tight and short there, it's very hard for you to get up to that position. So the stretches that I want you to do, first one is retraction, real simple stuff. And you can do this at your desk and it's probably the best time to do it at your desk because you're gonna get it done during the day. And what it will do is pop you out of this posture because when you do the exercise, you've got to come into neutral to do it. So it gives you that reset throughout the day. Now, how many times a day are you gonna do this? I would be aiming for about four times a day. So twice in the morning, twice in the afternoon. That means you're getting out of that posture from here to here at least four times, which is a start. Now, when you do this, what I want you to do is think, I want to be as upright in my lower spine as I can. Okay, and that lumbar spine needs to be not jacked into extension, but just neutral. Okay, so out of flexion into neutral. What that'll do is bring my head back a bit, which is good. What I want you to do is then focus on something ahead of you. So maybe look at your monitor and keep your eyes level. You're gonna put two fingers on your chin and I want you to think, okay, if I have to keep my eyes level, I want to pull my chin directly away from my fingers like that. Okay, so my head slides back like a filing cabinet, okay? What I don't want you to do is rock backwards when you do that, and I don't want you to drop down like that and go into flexion. It's what we call retraction, okay? It's not full flexion, and it's not full extension. What it is, is extension of the lumbar spine and flexion of the upper cervical spine. So that's what we call retraction. Aiming for, if I'm from here, I want to pull away until I feel the pain, okay? And then I return. If I don't feel any pain, it's just stiffness, I can try and use my muscles here to pull in and stretch the back of my neck. Just be careful you don't stretch too much and then start flaring up because it's very easy. If you've got a tight area here that's causing your headaches, you can stretch the crap out of it, then it'll maybe flare your head up, up, up again. So you don't want to do too much. You're just doing enough to try and free up and open up that upper cervical spine and push your lower cervical spine out of the flex position into more a neutral sort of semi-extended position like that. That's gonna give you one relief of that tightness, two, a reminder of what posture you should probably should be in more of the time, but also three, it opens up all these joints and gives you that sort of movement that reduces your headache, okay? So putting yourself back in that position will give you some freedom to then maintain that position. So if you're looser, you're more likely to be up there. If you're tight, you'll tend to drop into there again all the time. So that's your first one. Second one is if you've got a headache sort of off to one side. Most people have, they'll have like a cervical headache like where it's really tender on one side and it's flaring into one side more than the other. If that's the case, most of the time, those people have lost some range probably to the same side. So with the golden rule with this one is, when you do this next exercise, which is retraction and rotation, you go to the side that's the tightest, okay? The side is lost. Usually, that's the side where the pain is. Again, a few couple of rules with this one. You do the same movement, come up to the neutral, into here, pull in, okay? And then keep that position, okay? Don't come back, just keep that position in, then get this hand ready. If I'm gonna go left, I've got my right hand ready. I want your robot type look around to the left as far as I can go with my own muscles, right? 
When I get to the point where I can't go any further, this hand here acts like a pistol grip. And I want you to push your chin and keep looking around until you feel where that tightness is or the pain is. And then you back off. If you notice a very slow movement, okay, subtle slow movement, I don't do anything quick here. It's just slowly in, because you're monitoring where that pain is. You're also trying to slowly, carefully stretch out the tissues without freeing them up. Now this one, I don't want you to go and you know, push it harder or anything like that. It is a very subtle movement. Make sure when you go around, you don't slip into this flexion. Okay, so you've got to maintain retraction as you go around. Don't sort of go around and then try and reach forward with your chin and turn around. That's what a lot of people do. Or they try and tilt over. So you, you care, you've got to keep the whole head almost like a, pivoting like a robot so there's no side bend. It is only rotation. You're just focusing on rotation at the moment. Now, of course, if your problem's both sides, go both sides. But if the majority is on one side, you focus on that side more than the other side until those two sides are even. All right? So this one would just be going around and finding where that pain is. If I can stretch it without any more pain, then fine. And then when it stops with the tightness, then you back off. Again, reps of 10. You might do three sets of 10 of that, just like you do three sets of 10 of this. Again, four times a day because you're only doing a little bit of movement. And again, it's getting you out of that sort of really sort of aggravating posture that you, some people sit in, okay? So that's gonna help free up your rotation and free up your traction. Let's see how much that then affects what is happening with the headaches. At least it's a start, especially in between treatments, to keep things moving. And it's a good one to use down the track for future to try and keep that whole cervical spine looser. So they're your sort of first two that you'd maybe do at your desk. The third one I want you to work on is more on the floor, and the fourth one's on the floor as well. So you could use those ones at home. Maybe save the, this stuff for at work. When you go home, you do some more strengthening type ones. So what you need is going down on the floor. Now I've got a foam pad here. You could probably, if you don't have one of those, you could use something like a, a nice fluffy sort of beach towel, something that's got a little bit of give that you can push your head into. So the first one, what you work on, is just using it as a head rest, if you like, simply for the fact that most people, if they put their head down like that, they tilt backwards. Okay, It's very hard for someone to be in that position, and it does put a bit of strain through here. So with people who are tight and have cervical headaches, put that there. Don't have it too big. I don't want you to sort of push forward. I want you to sort of resting in a neutral type position. A little bit of flexion is okay, but not too much. So this or a little bit lower is perfect. From that position there, what I want you to work on is doing some cervical flexion using the muscles in the front of your neck. Most people who have cervical gen headaches, terrible posture, set at work, are not that strong here. And the same goes to the lower back. Think of like these muscles here as almost like your abdominals for your lower back. If you want a strong lower back, you need your core, you need your abdominals. And most people with back pain don't have great abdominals. So with neck pain, they don't have great throat muscles here either. So what I want you to work on is trying to do a very subtle movement where the chin slowly goes down towards the throat and then back again. Now the interesting thing about this is, one, you're actually opening up the back joints here, so you're getting a little bit of breathing, a bit of breathing space, which is exactly the upper cervical spine flexion is what we want with retraction. So you're doing the same type of movement, you're learning how to open up here. But the biggest focus is using muscles to pull yourself down. Now, I'll have to stop talking with this because what you've got to try and do is put your tongue on the roof of your mouth and that'll engage muscles in here that help stabilize your neck. So if I put my tongue on the roof of my mouth and then what I'm going to try and do is bring my chin slowly towards here. So I'll show you. That's how small the movement is, okay? Very subtle. Now, what you've got to do is make sure you don't use these big muscles here. If you look at these muscles here, when I do that, I don't want to use those ones. Your big sternocleidomastoid muscles, the massive ones in the front, you don't want those for doing subtle movements of neck flexion like that. They're for like full head movement. So I want to maintain, probably bumping my microphone here, but I want to feel what my muscles are doing. And so I pull down and make sure I can do it without 
those big muscles on. So what I don't want, if you look at this muscle here, I don't want this. So I don't want any muscles lifting off or any movement where you're doing that and trying to pull down and strengthen it. It's a very subtle movement. So this hand is just monitoring, making sure that muscle's not firing off. And my tongue's on the roof of my mouth. So I'm using all the little postural muscles deep in my throat to control that movement. And what that's doing is just engaging, engaging, engaging. You'll probably find that the more muscle work around here, that deep throat sort of muscle work here, deep neck work here is like doing deep core work here, knocks out your pain, helps your spinal stability, and therefore reducing your headache. So as boring as that stuff is, it is super awesome for people with headaches. And it's something where you can rest, lie down, take the load off, and start doing some homework with that. The second thing, or the advancement of that one, is trying to use this and your neck muscles together to do resisted retraction. All right, now this is very similar to the ball one on the wall, but what I'm gonna do is use the same pad here, look ahead, not do any flexion, but I'm gonna do retraction. So think about, okay, I want my whole head to go down into that foam pad, I wanna use the same muscles in my throat and a few muscles in the back of my neck to do retraction. So I'm monitoring here, tongue goes on the roof of my mouth and I do this. So you probably saw a little bit of subtle movement going of my head going into that. Now this is foamy, so I've got some resistance which gives me the strengthening and I've got some I can, pressure I know that I can push into. Okay, now pillow's not so great. A towel was probably better. If you don't have one of these, use a folded towel, not a pillow. But just monitor this. You can do this whole exercise without these firing off. Okay, if you use those deep throat muscles, again, that is going to then sort of improve how much strength you've got in here. So when you are back sitting, driving, at your computer, You've got more tone in here to hold yourself up. You're less likely to adopt a lazy posture and let that all relax and do nothing because you've got more activation and you've got more ability to hold yourself in this neutral position. And again, keeping that spine in a nice, happy position statically for eight hours or however long you're standing or sitting for, and that will hopefully reduce the cause of why you're getting those headaches triggering off. So they would be my sort of four in that acute phase where people are pretty sore, they can't handle too much strengthening, they need stuff to dial the pain down, stuff to improve the range, that's what we'd see in the homework. Once that is better, then they progress on to harder strengthening, like using the ball against the side, back, front, that sort of thing. Hope that helps with your headaches. See you next time.